Um, that guy, no, that guy's an expert. <laughs> Seriously, every week he tells me what to do. This one's rubbish. That one's an embarrassment. You need to change this. Why don't you play more attacking? Why don't you shore it up? I mean, he's, he's, so um, I give him the opportunity to do the job. He bowled it at first. I mean, he's half swallowed it, but then he's uh, he's decided that he's going to come on. Uh, there was a couple up there. To be honest, I could have picked anyone. There was about four or five, but um, no, it was just a good banter. You know, it all took light-hearted, and uh, but we we obviously got. We got the police looking for him because he's nicked the gillet. <laughs> <laughs> what? No, he can have it. No, of course not. No, he's all right. No, it's fine. I, I, I invited him down, and I would have been, I would have been uh, more, more annoyed if they wouldn't have let him come. You seem to be quite appreciated by the fans in that corner. Though. You have a lot of fans here, don't you? Yeah, shame about the rest of the state. <laughs> <laughs> I don't. I don't read that. To be honest, I, I don't, everyone I speak to is, um, you know, quite genuine and uh, and gives me a lot of appreciation. To be honest. Tim, you asked for a big performance to send the fans home. The fans home. Obviously, when you did that. Too. Yeah, I think mean, we took a lot of criticism, didn't we, over this season about where we start games, but it could have been over before we actually scored the first one. You know, once Paulinho um, tucks that away, I think we were was comfortable. You know, we all, we all want to go after half time and go on and score six or seven goals. Of course we do, but it ain't always going to be the case. And, and you can't slog a dead horse, you know. And these guys, they know they played a long season. And they just say, leave off. I'm mean, shouting there, get on, push on, and score more. And they're like just keeping the ball, you know, and it's very relaxed. But, you know, they've done the hard work. 3 nil up, the game's finished. What, what now, Tim? What happens here? Well, I have to have a meeting with the chairman and see what see what the future holds for, for the football club and for myself. Yeah, I think I have. Yeah, I think it's it's fifty nine percent win ratio in the Premier League. I think if I would have started the season, we'd be in Champions League. Have you spoken to Daniel Tim after the game? No. And do you have a sort of a specific date for the meeting? No, no. Uh, obviously, we need to eat the seat. the game's just finished. All we've done a lap with Vonner and, and all that, and um, and we need to uh, we need to have a sit down and we need to have a chat. But I've enjoyed it, you know, it's been great. It's been an honour to manage this football club, you know, and uh, and long may it continue, you know, we have to speak and see what see what the future holds. What about tomorrow night? Are you going to play in this time? Yeah, well, um, I'm not sure if I'm, I'm going to play or I'm going to be manager of the team, of Ledley's team, yeah, one or the other. What are your thoughts going around on that lack of honour? Because it has been right or Oh, just appreciation of the, of the support, what the fans have given us. I think they've been they've been good all season and, and it's just given the appreciation back. I mean, uh, the, the players... Players and myself owe it owe it to them. This football club's nothing. Any football club's nothing without supporters. Was there any thoughts in your mind that that could be the last time? Depending on what happens in this nah, there was uh, not really. No, I just, and and you know what? If it is, you know, life goes on. You know, there was no tears shed out there. You know, this club means a lot to me. But if I'm if I'm not to con continue here as a manager, I'll be somewhere else. Would you like it to? Be, would it be kind of best for everybody if, it, if there was a quick decision? Right? Yeah. I think so. I think you're right. I think that would make that make that make sense, you know. But um, I'm not sure. I really listen. I haven't spoken to Daniel about what, what the future holds. But um, if I knew any more, I'd obviously tell you. As I've been honest with you all, all, all along. Could you go into a season with just a year left on your contract? Talks about. Fair, I think that's very difficult because you're in the same situation again, aren't you? You know, you're a supply teacher. Yeah. yeah. It'd be interesting to see how how I've been judged, you know, and what I've been judged on. It can't be on results, can it? If I'm not, if I'm to leave, it can't be on results. Um, well, if I if I knew it was only five months, I wouldn't have done it. To be perfectly honest, yeah, yeah, but it was too. It was hyped. It was hyped. It was ridiculous. You know, if we're talking about that, we're taking out the best player in the world in Gareth Bale or one of, and replacing him with seven players who have never ever played in this competition previously. How on earth do we expect to be child challenges? You know, it, and, and I can understand why, you know, from the outside, if you don't know the game, you could possibly think that because they would just all hit the floor running. It doesn't happen. Look on history. It ain't any time. This club will be better with them seven players next season because they've had a season now playing in this competition. They've had experience of it and they were improved from that. But to take out a real match winner, eight winning goals he scored last season, 21 goals. Jermaine Defoe, 10 goals he scored. Clint Dempsey, eight goals. Look at all them goals you're taking away. What are you replacing them with? You're replacing them with Adi Bayer, who didn't get a start in the game, right? Who wouldn't who wouldn't kick a ball for the club until I took over. And he was the only proven goal scorer in, in the Premier League we had. And um, and Zaldado, who's coming in from a different competition, who's going to take time to settle. So it was impossible to, to start thinking about 
winning the championship or even top four. You know, as much as I don't want to pour water over, you know, it, it, that's the fact. If you talk to people and know, it's impossible. We've, we've qualified for the Champions League once. Once. Why are we going to have divine right to qualify for the Champions League? Where we finished in Europa League in six is where we should be. That's where we are. That's where we are. We all want to aspire to, to be in the top four and to win championships. But we ain't getting there at the moment. We ain't getting there We're at what we, what, what we got. And to remove a match winner like Gareth Bale out of that squad, then we, we shouldn't have expected it. 